What's up, guys? Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. Guys, this is going to be a different type of video um, that I am posting for you guys. I've had a lot of requests, so I am going to do a Zodiac. Um, this is just like an all about the Zodiac kind of video. Me just giving you guys some of um, the things I've learned about the Zodiac signs and my opinions on some things with each sign. And who knows, you guys may discover something about your sign that you did not know. So without further ado, guys, let's hop in. Um, I'm also going to be using some correlating tarot cards. You guys know if you are new to my channel, um, I do tarot readings. So I'm going to be giving you guys some explanations as far as the zodiac signs and how it intertwines with the tarot. And if you guys are new to the channel, definitely, definitely subscribe. I want to welcome you to the family. You guys um, like the video, comment your sign, tell me you know, something you want, want me to know that I may have left out about your sign. Um, this is going to be really, really interesting, guys. And this is my opinion on the signs. I'm going to give y'all some facts, but it will also be like my personal opinion and my experiences with each sign. So let's get right in. Um, also, you guys do check out. I'm going to do a new moon reading. Um, today is a new moon in Pisces. And happy birthday, Pisces. Um, we're in Pisces season, so check out that video as well, all right? So, guys, I'm ready to give y'all the TT. Again, my opinion on the signs. We're going to start with the first sign of the Zodiac. Most people don't even know this, but the first sign of the Zodiac is actually Aries, all right? Aries gang, Aries gang, I don't even know what to call y'all, <laughs> my Aries, the Rams, okay? This um, will be from March the 21st through March 9th. No, March the 21st through April the 19th. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm clearly, I got it um, written down for the dates of the sign. So if your birthday fall within um, those dates, you are in Aries. And I want to tell y'all before I go too far into the details, um, if you are like born, like I'll say, maybe after like the 20th, it depends on what sign it is, but if you're born in like the, the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, you're going to have like a lot of influence from the previous sign um, in, you know, your natal chart. So you may not be like a full Aries. So you may have some Aries characteristics or any other zodiac sign, but you also want to look at the sign before that. And then if you fall at the end of a zodiac sign, like um, while well, about to transit into a different sign, you may have a lot of qualities from that sign as well. So I'll kind of explain that as we go along. But starting with my Aries, okay, the first sign of the zodiacs. Um, this is a masculine sign. So Aries are definitely um, not softies. Very, very masculine. You guys are um, active. You guys are excitable, high energy. I love Aries. Y'all are like really big on your freedom. So in Aries... If you date an Aries, interested in Aries, the first thing I'm going to say is definitely be aware that they love their freedom. Aries do not like to feel like boxed in. Y'all like to have the freedom to, you know, just do what you want to do, to say the least. Um, you guys are leaders. Like I said, the first sign of the Zodiac. So, number one, you guys are all about self, <laughs> okay? Y'all are, like, self-starting. Some of you guys um, could be business owners. You know, I've had a lot of, like, managers and you know, um, higher up people in companies that are Aries. You guys are really, really into that. One of your cards in the tarot is the emperor. All right, you can see the ram here in the back. And I love this because he looks so prestigious. Like he is just like, got on his little um, pants and everything. Look real clean cut. All Aries don't look real clean cut, but just to say the least, Y'all Aries are about your business. Like I said, great business owners. You guys are very, very um, energetic. You guys like to start new things. Very spontaneous. You guys are very intellectual. A lot of people may or may not know that. But like Aries, y'all are really smart. Y'all are really, really smart. Especially when it comes down to business. Like y'all have like a natural um, business mind. And that's something that I really, really love. On the flip side, some of the bad qualities about Aries, I would say... Um, Aries like to play mind games, like really, really bad. Like they're very intellectual and they get bored easy. So to them, like sometimes just to add a little spice or just to 
I don't know, stir the pot, I would say. They like to play with your mind. Like, if you are not a strong mental sign, like, you're not very intellectual, they're probably going to get bored with you. They get bored very quick. And like I said, they have to be, like, stimulated intellectually because they are very intellectual. So if you don't have, like, the brain power to keep up with the Aries or the energy, that shit is not going to last. Um, Aries can be a little bit arrogant. And like I said, this is a masculine energy. So for the women, some men may have problems with Aries because they're so strong and they're not like emotional women. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be kind of hard to really lock them down and control them. They're not having that shit. So that is Aries. Um, you guys, your lucky numbers or numbers that are good for you is the number one and the number nine. I don't know if that's any of y'all numbers, but I also wrote down like some numbers that are good for you guys. So that's what I got on Aries. I love Aries. Um, y'all cool in my book. Aries, like I said, I love the energy. All right, so moving on, the second sign of the Zodiac is my Taurus gang, the Bulls, okay? This is um, April 20th to May 20th. And another fun fact about the Zodiac signs, each month is different. So everyone, of course, is going to be different based on how you were raised and a lot of other things are going to, you know, define who you are or kind of, you know, shape who you are as far as um, your environment. But each month, I can say I've met like two different people born in each month of the Zodiac and it's going to be completely different. So like you have an overall energy that's the same, but it's going to be some subtle differences. It's like, okay, I'm not like her or, you know, things like that. But for my Tauruses, this is a feminine energy, all right? Really, really weird because Taurus do not come off as a feminine, but they do have a very feminine energy. Tauruses love beauty. They love um, anything aesthetics. Like, they like beautiful things. They like luxurious things. They like living comfortably. Um, I have a Taurus moon sign, so I can I definitely connect and recognize Taurus energy. Um, Tauruses are kind of quiet very patient, very determined, very persistent. All right. One thing about Taurus is that differs from Aries because they are very similar. Aries like to start things. These are the self-starters. They get things going. Like they, they, they started off. The Tauruses are ones that kind of carry it out. Okay. And not necessarily just carry it out, but Tauruses are the workers, you know, they actually will, will put in the legwork and they don't mind things taking a long time to to kind of reach fruition. Aries is more impulsive. So it's like, they gonna jump right into something fast. They can jump right out of it just as fast. Tauruses is gonna take them a long time to get, you know, involved with something. You know, they're gonna be really, really like um, conscious about it. It has to be something beneficial for them and the other party for them to even fuck with it, in my opinion. Um, Tauruses can be very stubborn. This is a fixed energy. So it's like once Tauruses makes up their mind, they get themselves set in whatever it is, including their ways, it's hard for them to get out of that. Like they are very resistant to change. Aries like change. They like, they thrive on change. They thrive on new stuff. Tauruses, they don't like that. Um, lucky numbers for Tauruses is number six and number four. And the tarot card for Tauruses is the Hierophant. So the hair font represents like um, higher learning. Tauruses are very deep, very spiritual people. Um, the hair font also is like a teacher kind of in the Zodiac, whether it's, you know, life teaching you lessons or someone that's physically um, teaching, you know, an actual teacher. So you can see a lot of Tauruses in positions where they could be teachers. It could be something that they do where they, you know, help other people to learn. Tauruses are very, very um, much so leaders. And like I said, they are very, very, not religious, but very spiritual. So you can see a lot of Tauruses being pastors. You know, they can really be spiritual workers. Tauruses are very, very deep like that. Um, the next sign, number three, is going to be my Geminis. I love Geminis. You guys are awesome. Um, you guys are the twins. So everybody know, I think Geminis just have a bad, I'm not going to say a bad rap, but Geminis, you guys are misunderstood, okay? But I get y'all. I love y'all. They're always, you know, seen as the twin. Everybody says it's two sides. It is. Um, the dates for Geminis, May 21st to June the 20th. All right. And like I said, Geminis is the third sign. This is another masculine energy. So very, very strong. 
Um, Geminis are like their phrases, like I think. So Geminis are thinkers, very, very energetic, very lively, very, very intellectual. So these are people that, you know, do a lot of um, things. Geminis are really good for like doing more than one thing at one time. Your card in the tarot is the lovers. In this deck, I love it because it's a more passionate, intimate kind of card. But on the other decks, it's normally like three people or, you know, someone needing to choose between two things representing the duality of Geminis. Geminis, um, in my opinion, are misunderstood because a lot of people can't keep up with y'all mentally. I feel like, you know, it is two sides. It's two sides to everybody. I think Geminis are so much um, in their minds and so passionate that they actually can fully live out those two different sides. Whereas most people may, you know, think something else, but they don't really act on it or they know how to kind of restrain it. Geminis, you know, I feel like you just have to have a certain energy level first and foremost to keep up with them because they're very lively. They like to do a lot of things, but they're also very intellectual, very, very smart people. So you have to be able to keep up with them just like Aries. Geminis and Aries are normally, um, I see a lot of people like friends or even relationships where one person is Gemini, one person is Aries. And I think one of those reasons is because of the high intellectual and high energy um, vibe that they both have. Geminis are not really emotional people. And it's crazy that I say that because they will get emotional on your ass. Like whatever way they want to be, they will like dive into that fully. But they can also be so emotionally detached that it's, it's, it's hard to kind of get that lovey-dovey kind of energy from them. All right. Um, the bad thing about Geminis, in my opinion, I'm an air sign as well. So I can connect with them, you know, really easy. But I say for other people, I think other people may have a, a problem like switching up. Like me personally, if I deal with a Gemini and I get one person one day and I have a report that person that's cool and then they come in another day, if there's somebody else, hell, I'm just going to switch up too. Like who, we, who are we today? I, I can kind of adjust and switch up. Other people, you know, may have a problem with adjusting. You know, that's where people get the, the two-facedness and the, you know, I don't know, I, that bipolarness, you know. No offense to Geminis, but I think it's a misconception people have of you guys. But I love y'all and I can keep up. Um, lucky numbers for Geminis are the number five and the number nine. All right, so moving right along, number four, we got the Cancers. All right, so this is from June 21st to July 22nd. Um, cancers for me, I would say the moon would be like their symbolism for me. Cancer rules the moon. Well, the moon <laughs> rules cancer. So cancers are naturally very emotional, very intuitive, very, very deep people. Um, feminine energy, very, very feminine energy. And their kind of, their, their thing is like, I feel. So these are the feelers of the zodiac. All right. These people are, um, cancers are very receptive, very open very sensitive and when i say open i don't mean like they just you know will easily connect with you i mean they're open as far as they receive you know everyone's emotions you guys can actually feel things so you can feel people's emotions you can feel people's energy you can feel a lot of things that some people don't even have to express to you you just have the power a gift of feeling um you guys are very imaginative i love cancers because you guys are very creative I see a lot of cancers are into like fashion, you know, dressing, makeup, design, things like that. You guys are really good with that. Very sympathetic and very, very loyal. I feel like sometimes loyal at a fault. Y'all may like cling to people and attach to people that they may not deserve your loyalty to say the least. Um, the tarot card for cancers is the chariot. And I, this is interesting because... With this card, this talks about moving forward, but being pulled by two different directions. You see a black horse, a white horse. So this is like having all these different kind of energies, but still being able to ride it out and go forward. Cancers are very determined. Um, you guys are very, very good with business when it comes to handling like your personal business. You guys are homebodies. You like to stay home a lot. Very nurturing energy. Very motherly. Like this is the motherly energy of the Zodiac. Um... Your home family is going to be really important to you. The negative traits of a cancer, I would say, is overly fucking emotional. No shade to cancers. I love y'all. 
but everybody don't don't deserve so much emotion from you you guys can get really really emotional um very very sensitive so you could be easily offended and i would say um dependent you guys are really really dependent and not in a sense of where you just have to you know you need to have somebody it's just more of like you love you know someone else you love that connection you love the home you love the family so sometimes it's at a fault to where you may connect to someone that may not be good for your well-being but that's with everybody okay so moving right along um number five we have leo the lion leo gang gang all right this is july 23rd to august 22nd this is a masculine energy i think anybody knows a freaking leo knows that they're freaking masculine and i don't mean like you know muscular built i mean like strong very strong strong will their quote is like i will <laughs> they are literally strong will very determined very powerful um very expansive leos are very creative as well you guys can like literally invent things you have a lot of great ideas um very generous you guys love to give and i feel like a lot of people think leos are selfish but you guys can be selfish but you guys are also very generous when you love and you feel like someone is deserving you would give like everything all right numbers that are good for leos we have number eight and number nine and um good qualities like i said very strong um you guys are very very creative you guys are the leaders you guys are natural leaders as well you guys do like to help but i feel like sometimes when you guys help you can kind of have a tendency to overindulge and kind of take over and everybody can't handle it you guys you guys have a very strong energy and for some people you know i just feel like for leo only the strong survive bottom line you got to be strong to deal with a leo i mean mentally strong physically strong a leo can test you like no other but they're going to test you because they need to know that they have a strong partner as well leos do not like being controlled and one of the downsides of leo i can say you guys can be controlling um you can be manipulative because you are so smart you are so intellectual you are so creative and you are so powerful meaning you have a lot of influence you can you know kind of manipulate that to your advantage when it comes to people all right, um, strength would be the card in tarot for Leo. That's why you can see like she's a half lion, half um, person. And I think that's one of the things that makes you guys so admirable is your strength. You guys are very, very strong. You guys, you know, you don't like to change, but at the same time, you are bold enough to do like some bold ass things. I love that from Leos. All right, so moving right along, number six, Virgos, the virgins that are not virgins. <laughs> um august 23rd to september 22nd feminine energy i think a lot of people think that virgos are a masculine energy because of how strong you guys are but feminine energy the quote for virgos is i analyze so these are the analyzers of the zodiac okay these are modest people practical industrious virgos you guys are really good with your hands um you guys could be like Mas mas massages masseuse i don't know the right word <laughs> you guys could be really good with doing massages maybe um you guys do hair whatever you guys do it may involve your hands you guys are very good with your hands very practical i feel like for virgos y'all have a gift a talent of like analyzing things so like you can be really good in a job where it costs for you to maybe analyze statistics maybe analyzing people whatever it is you guys are really good at looking at things looking at all the details the meticulous things but also being able to see like what needs to be done um in certain places to tweak certain things um you guys are very very um very much so perfectionist you guys will definitely you know you have the determination the practicalness needed to work towards your goals to figure something out to kind of tweak the details you guys are really really big on being perfectionist so you want everything to be like a certain way very very mental um sign so virgos have a lot of mental energy like i said they analyze every fucking thing like from how you look how you talk how you walk how you dress everything the downside of virgos i would say you guys can be like a little standoffish sometimes sometimes you don't really like to like connect to people Sometimes you guys may spend too much time in your head. And for others of you, um, I just feel like, hmm, 
I would say some people can't handle your criticalness, to say the least. You guys are the type of people, Virgos, when they love you, they're going to analyze you and they're going to critique you and everything that you do. But it's not because they just want to pick at you. It's because they love you enough to tell you. Um, Virgos are very similar to Aquarius and a lot of people don't know. And I feel like um, that's one of the weird things because both signs are very intellectual. Vir both signs, you know, analyze a lot. They just carry it out in different ways. But the part for Virgo in the tarot is the hermit. You can see someone sitting by themselves, meditating, contemplating, you know, doing a lot of soul searching. You guys, again, like I say, you guys um, can be by yourselves a lot. Real big on solitude. Numbers for Virgos, number five and number three. All right, so next up, we got my Libras, my lovely, lovely Libras. I love Libras. Um, this this is the scales. When I think of Libras, I think of the scales. Balance, we all know that. They're... Um, Affirmation is our balance. Libras bring balance to situations. The dates for Libras September 23rd through August the 22nd. And surprisingly, I was kind of surprised. This is a masculine energy. Libras do not strike me as masculine. Um, these are very, very like loving, kind people, diplomatic, very artistic. I know a lot of Libras into music, into like creative things. You know, they just have a really artistic nature about them very active so Libras you know will you know do things these are people that are also big on beauty all right so they love things that are beautiful they love things that um you know that are elegant these are very charming people very diplomatic people like I said they bring a sense of balance Libras are very big on partnerships so it's very very like not likely to see a Libra single in my opinion Libras if they're not single they could be like having relations with people, but they're not just going to be like on some Virgo solo dolo shit. Libras are all about companionship. Lucky numbers for Libras is the number six and the number nine. And I would say um, bad qualities, if any, would be like Libras sometimes, whew, they like to ride the fence. Whereas some people like to make a decision, you know, right or wrong, left or right, whatever. Libras are going to try to find that middle line, that balance. And sometimes it's frustrating because they need to be a little more assertive. Um, other than that, I really don't think um, anything bad with Libras. I know Libras do. They're very intellectual, very, very smart people. And sometimes it's to a fault, like where they feel like they're, they know the right way all the time. So a Libra is going to argue your ass down. Like my way is the way this is it. They're going to convince you that's a Libra. Okay. <laughs> and this is a um, card for a Libra in this particular deck, but in the tarot it's justice. All right. That's why we got the big ass skills there. All about balance. All right, so we got Scorpio up next, number eight. This is my crabs, October 23rd through November the 21st. Feminine energy, and this one a lot of people could think that Scorpios are masculine because Scorpios are strong as fuck. I love Scorpios. Their affirmation is I desire. All right, so this talks about the desires. This is a group of people. These people are imaginative, very passionate, very intense, okay? Scorpios, a lot of people can't even take y'all. Y'all see the cards jump? People can't take y'all, Scorpios, okay? Um, Scorpios are very, very sexy, very, very strong, hardworking people, very driven. You know, I desire, they act on their desires and they also will put in the work to have their desires. Scorpio is ruled by Pluto and that's the planet of regeneration, you know, the dark side, you know, the occult, like bringing things to the light, addressing things and, you know, also exposing things that they can get, you know, dealt with. So Scorpio can have a lot of dark energy. This is a sign of like intense as emotions. Scorpios are very creative as well. They love beautiful things as well. And Scorpios normally have really, really beautiful bodies like Scorpios. Women are normally shapely, and the men normally have, like, nice toned bodies. Um, a bad trait in Scorpios, I would say, can be manipulate, manipulation. And with manipulation, it's not like Leos. Leos like to manipulate situations and people, whereas Scorpios are really good with manipulate, manipulating emotions. So they know how to, like, observe, very, very observative, can be quiet, can be reserved, and they know how to sit and see like what things make what people tick and they will kind of play on those things so like 
if you don't want to get down and petty, don't fuck with a Scorpio, okay? Scorpios are also patient enough to where, like, they can be vengeful. So Scorpios will, like, you do something to them that really hurts them, they will take it and they will wait and then they will come back and hurt your ass too. So that's something that Scorpios do. Um, another thing with Scorpios, you guys can definitely like hide your emotions well. Like you have so much intense and passionate emotions, but you are so good at hiding it that some people don't know that they exist. And that's where the mind games manipulation comes into play. But we have death rebirth. This is the card for Scorpios in the tarot. And it just speaks about transformation. 